Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 10th Master Builder of the Year Awards. Over the past 10 years, the Master Builder of the Year Awards has seen hundreds of examples of fantastic builders from around the country who have surpassed the expectations of their clients in every way. In an industry which is often taken for granted and continues to face really tough times, this celebration of excellence is surely something that we should all applaud. I think it's fantastic that it is the client that nominates the winning builder and that gives it a great point of um, difference and a distinction from any other type of award. It's been excellent I think to have 600 people turn up at an event like this, an event which really celebrates excellence within the building industry I think is, a, uh, is, is, is to be commended and I think the FMB needs to, to be recognised for putting on such an excellent award. The Apprentice of the Year Award is supported by Construction Skills, Trade Point and the Cross Industry Construction Apprenticeships Task Force. It recognises the apprentice who has demonstrated an extremely high level of practical skill. The winner will receive a cheque for £1,000. And the winner of the Apprentice of the Year 2010 is Patrick Williams. Yeah, I didn't think I'd win, but uh, it's uh, some tough competition, I'm glad I did. The wonderful thing about Patrick, he's such a modest young man, he'll do anything, he's a real team player, um, he's hel he helps anywhere he can, never makes a fuss and just gets on with things and gets on thing with things with quality. The builders nominated for the title of 10th Master Builder of the Year are FJ Charlton Building Contracts Limited. They won the new homes category with a dramatic glass and zinc fronted home. The Small Renovation Project Award went to Character Builders Southwest for an extension to a 500 year old listed cob thatched house. Winners of the Medium Renovation Category. Dunkeld Builders constructed a sun lounge fitting for a grand Scottish home. Owners Gordon and Betty Mitchell were delighted with the result. The large renovation project category was won by Corriard Developments for their conversion of a derelict 1832 mill. They had a very special home. Spawn Construction Limited took the Commercial Projects Award converting a Grade 2 listed medieval stone barn into a romantic rural wedding venue. The Energy Efficient Award winner, R&R Building Services, were nominated by Mick and Sue Paskins after building them an eco-home in the centre of Brighton. Gary Rutter of Valentine Limited was named Heavenly Builder for unfailingly delighting his clients in Wimborne, Dorset with excellent humour and enthusiasm. Seven excellent builders. Seven outstanding but very different projects. Which one will take the 10th Master Builder of the Year title and which Nissan vehicle will they choose if they win? Okay, this is the big one. The Master Builder of the Year 2010 is FJ Charlton building contracts.
the, the award ceremony was was amazing. It's it's far far beyond anything we ever could imagine. Uh, the quality and just everything that was better than we ever ever could have expected. It was wonderful. Well, we're delighted for David in particular, as you've already spoken to him. You see how modest he is. He, he's he's such a, a lovely manner about everything he does. You ask him to do something, he says, "Oh, no problem. Just leave me. Just, just leave that with me." Uh, he's such a generous spirit. Uh, he thoroughly deserves the award. It's not us. It's him. I had a great time today. The awards were fantastic. There was a really wonderful atmosphere in the room, an atmosphere of celebration and success, which is what it's all about. Yeah, we're delighted to say that next year we will be sponsoring the awards as I announced uh, earlier. Um, we think it's important to put something back into what is a crucial industry for the country and to support what is, is important to in terms of uh, our commercial vehicle range. It was great to see people from all around the British Isles and to see what quality work is being done and what a great spirit there is in, in, in the industry. You know, there's super people from Ireland and Scotland and they're all cheering and enjoying their work and I think that was reflected in the, in the quality results we saw. People enjoying their work and taking a pride in their work and it was great to be a part of that. I would like to thank all our partners for the generous support their support makes it possible to stage this event and celebrate a fantastic day, supporting the best of British building and we look forward to continued partnership with them. Thank you very much.